What up, y'all? We're hanging out in Dallas. It's gonna be a great day. And we're gonna taste some La Marca Prosecco, because why not? So La Marca Prosecco, why is it awesome? Um, it's made from the Glera grape out of the Prosecco region in the Veneto. But the fun fact about this guy is it's named La Marca because the region in Treviso, where a lot of the La Marca grapes are pulled from, there's a special region in the middle called La Marca Trevigiana, where all of the best grapes grow. So they call it La Marca because they pull the grapes from there. Let's get into the glass. So check it out. I want you to notice that A, it is bubbly, and we are tasting it out of a wine glass. You will pour this for your guests in a wine flute, but for our purposes, we're going to be able to smell it better and taste it better in a wine glass because there's going to be more oxygen hitting the surface of the wine, therefore making it more flavorful. So notice it's pale straw. There are a ton of flecks of green, which as we already discussed, this means that it's a youthful wine. And those legs are medium to form and medium to fall, indicating a medium level of alcohol. We're gonna confirm it when we get there, but let's take a sniff. So please notice that this is bright citrus and bright tree fruit. We've got grapefruit here, we've got bright lemon, we've got green apple, I would even say we've got some white peach. Underneath of that, take a sniff and let's see if we can smell any earth. And it smells like a chalkboard to me. I don't know if y'all grew up with chalkboards in school. I kind of grew up with some chalkboards in school when I was really young. And when you would bang the chalkboard erasers together, you'd get that like whiff of chalk dust in your nose. And that's what I get here. Maybe a little bit of sidewalk when it rains or a crushed rock. But also in our non-fruit category, there's that, that honey and white flowers, almost like gardenia, um, jumping out of the glass. So let's confirm that. Let's smell for oak real quick. And I want, to know, I want you to notice that there's not anything here. Um, again, there's no spice, there's no vanilla, there's no caramel. It's really angular with hard edges, meaning that it was likely aged and, and produced in stainless steel tanks. Um, so let's taste it and confirm all our stuff. This wine is super easy. Um, I would say patio, patio pounder, I would say um, beach sipper, I would say anything outside that doesn't require a lot of complicated things. This is a great glass of wine to just sit and enjoy. Um, confirming all of our fruits. So um, I think our green apple is there. I think white peach is there. Definitely grapefruit and maybe some Meyer lemon. Um, all of those bright lifted citrus fruits. And underneath of that, um, we have the crushed rock and the chalk, like the like the chalkboard eraser. Um, but the honey is there too, and I want you to feel that on your mouth. Um, there's a there's just like honeycomb uh, and the texture of honeycomb on the inside of your mouth with the really pretty white flowers. I would say gardenia. I would say lily. Um, yeah, so take one more sip and let's confirm our structure. So how much is your mouth gushing? And mine's filling up so fast with spit that I think we have to call this high acid. Other recognition is we're gonna look for that alcohol, right? So how much are you warm right at the bottom of your chest? No joke, I'm looking for it. I don't have any. Um, yeah, I'm almost like waiting for it to arrive. So I'm gonna say that this is medium alcohol, medium plus acid, medium alcohol, we can put them together. We can really go on either side of that line. I'm gonna put this in the medium body camp um, because I think it's gonna pair really nicely with medium body foods. Alrighty, three, two, one. This is bright citrus, this is honey, and this is white flowers. This is gonna go with anything fried, anything, no matter what it is. Um, I'll even take a fried Oreo. Welcome to Texas. Um, so anything fried, I think this is also gonna go with seafood of any kind. Uh, and the fun fact is that it's named La Marca after the premier region in the Veneto where all the best grapes for Prosecco come from. I love your faces. Go get it.